In my opinion, what we are currently seeing is the decoupling of spot price and physical silver. We're starting to see that the two are starting to get further and further away from each other. So for example, if I were to buy physical silver right now, I'm paying a six to $7 premium, even though the spot price of silver is around $19 right now. So you can expect to pay around $25 per ounce when you go ahead and buy physical silver. This is the decoupling of spot price and physical silver in my opinion. And I'm gonna get into where I think this could be leading in the future. So let's go to the intro and then we'll get right into this video. Okay, so let's get right into this video. Now I'm reminded every day by the trolls that silver is gonna keep going lower and lower and lower. People are already calling bottoms. I'm hearing $14 silver, $10 silver, and that's great. You can make all the predictions you want behind your keyboard, but just understand very few can actually call the bottom. And does it really matter? For example, let's say that spot price on silver actually goes down to $10. Okay, that's fine. What happens when you're paying $10 premium, $15 premium? Did anything actually change? And the answer is no. This is the decoupling that we're seeing. Yeah, you're able to get physical silver at a bit cheaper price, but we're talking like a couple dollars. That's not that big of a change. And this is even when spot price was around $24. I mean, the difference is so small, it's like meaningless. And everyone's on the bandwagon now saying that silver's gonna go lower, silver's gonna keep dropping. Listen, this is all based on derivative nonsense. These derivative paper markets, they're meaningless. We saw a few years ago how they sent oil negative. Do you really think that you are gonna be able to buy oil for negative dollars? No. This is why I keep saying I don't care what paper silver does because eventually you're just gonna see a decoupling. It's gonna to get to the point where, you know, they're not gonna sell it because they're not gonna be profitable. So the miners, they're gonna start stockpiling it. It makes no sense to sell it because they're gonna end up losing money. So people who are trying to time the bottom, I mean, that's great and everything, but what's the point? Who knows how low this thing can go? And you may miss it. Maybe it just takes off. And so for me, I'm just always buying in and averaging if it goes down or up. Because no one, I don't care what they say, no one can time the bottom. No one knows the true bottom of anything. So I do find it very comical how I can go through the comment sections now and all of these trolls are coming out of the woodwork telling us how we were wrong about silver, how now they're going to buy silver for $14, $10 an ounce. Um, good luck with that because even if the spot price goes down to $14 or $10, I can guarantee you, you're gonna be paying above $20 for physical silver. I can guarantee it. You have to understand, everything is up around you, everything. Fuel is up around you. You do understand that these miners have to use fuel to mine for silver and other precious metals, right? It's not like they can just pull it out of the ground with a shovel. They're using heavy machinery that requires fuel. Not to mention the extreme inflation that we're seeing right now. As a result, you have to pay people more. So those people operating that machinery, those people who work for the miners, you have to pay them more. Consequently, you're gonna to have to raise the price of silver. I'm telling you right now, it's gonna to get to the point where you're gonna see like 10 to $15 premiums just be the norm if they're gonna to continue to send spot price down. Again, it's all a big game. These derivative markets are ridiculous. They're fakery. We already proved it with oil. How can something go negative? It's a mathematical impossibility. You can't have negative of something. Yeah, in theory, you could have negative. I guess you would call that a debt. But how can you have negative oil? It makes absolutely no sense, right? Am I gonna be able to pick that oil up for negative dollars? Meaning you're gonna be paying me to pick it up. How does that make any logical sense? It doesn't. Again, these derivative markets, it's fakery. And this is what happens when you trade contracts for things that you don't actually have. I mean, we've proved it in the silver market a thousand times before. They don't actually have the silver that they're shorting. They only have around 17 to 18% of the actual silver that they're shorting. I've made videos on this in the past. It's clear as day. It's complete manipulation. And so I don't get all caught up in spot price. People are so fixated on the spot price. It's fakery. It doesn't matter. In the end, 
in my opinion, it won't even matter. Listen, we are seeing the devaluation of this dollar before our eyes. And people are over here counting pennies on spot price. Penny wise and dollar foolish. In the end, it's really not going to matter in my opinion. What is going to matter is how many ounces of silver and how many ounces of gold you have because when this dollar does end up taking its last breath, that's when we're gonna get a true valuation on precious metals like silver and gold, especially silver that has been highly manipulated in all of these derivative markets. That day of reckoning is coming. And no, the dollar is not getting stronger. Despite what mainstream media wants to tell you, it's not getting stronger. What's happening is you have something called the Bretton Woods Agreement where all currencies are pegged to the dollar. And all currencies around the world right now are unbelievably sick. In my opinion, they're going to start imploding. All these currencies around the world. So the dollar is looking like a superstar. But just understand, all those currencies, they are a direct reflection of what they are pegged to, and that is the dollar. And all of these other currencies around the world are sick because the dollar is sick. It makes sense that the dollar is going to be the last fiat that ends up imploding. I'm seeing the signs all around me. This is not just inflation. We are on the cusp of hyperinflation, in my opinion. And this is why I'm going to continue to stack silver and gold because it's a no-brainer. All you have to do is go back, look in history, look at the Weimar Republic. People who had 100,000 marks in their savings account, again, the mark was the currency at the time during the Weimar Republic, those people were considered wealthy. After hyperinflation took place, that was like two years, they couldn't even buy a cup of coffee with that savings in their bank account. It was worthless. But you want to know what retained its value and held its value? Gold, silver, real physical assets that have intrinsic value that are independent of any of these fiats. The dollar goes down, guess what? My silver and gold, it still has intrinsic value. It's still going to hold its real value. I've said this numerous times before, silver is not $19. Gold is not $1,700. Gold is gold and silver is silver. You are literally measuring something in a fake fiat that has been printed to oblivion and you're putting a price tag on it. How does that make any sense? It's all a big game. It's a big deal that's being put over the general population's eyes. They can't see past it. They can't see past this fiat. They don't understand history how if you go back in history, every single fiat that is not backed always goes to zero. It always ends up imploding. Always. And then we see the fall of the empire. And in my opinion, we're already seeing this with America. America is on borrowed time, in my opinion. We're seeing this empire literally just collapse before our eyes. And why is that? Well, if you go back to any other empire in history, it was always because of the debasement of the currency. Look at Rome. They had the pure silver coins in the beginning of the empire. Towards the end, it was only a fraction of that silver in the coins. It was the debasement of the currency. They expanded too fast. They had too many debts. So what did they do? They debased the currency. And we all know what happened from there. It was the collapse of the Roman Empire. We're seeing the same thing with America. We have too many debts. We expanded too fast. We can't pay them off. What do we do? We print the fiat to oblivion. You can't print your way out of debt. What's going to happen? You're going to have a collapse and a societal collapse, a economic collapse, a collapse all around. And so this is why I'm holding physical assets like silver and gold. It's a no brainer at this point. So when you come on here and tell me that you're going to buy silver for 14 to $10, I'm going to say good luck because who knows when this dollar is going to take its last breath. I'm glad you still have faith in the fiat because I don't. And I'm glad that you're able to wait it out thinking that this dollar is only going to get stronger. Please, those people who tell me that they're going to buy silver for 14 to $10, please tell me how this dollar is going to get stronger. It hasn't been back since 1971. It's lost 97% of its purchasing power. Please explain to me how it's going to get stronger. It's being printed worthless. It's not inflation around you. It's that your dollar is becoming worthless. It's taking more and more of that monopoly money to buy the same amount of goods. It's common sense. You need to have a currency that is backed. That way you don't have a government that prints it to oblivion. Plain and simple. We see this play out time and time again in history, almost as if it's the same people doing it over and over again. Hey, but what do I know? 
So that's going to do it for today's video, guys. You know, I kind of get fired up when I hear people telling me, yeah, I'm going to buy silver at $14, $10. Not because silver is going down, but just because these people are so arrogant and they think that they're going to be able to time the bottom and they think now they're going to get in for pennies on the dollar. Hey, I hope you do, but I'm just going to tell you this right now. Good luck with this fiat because I don't think it has much time left. And in my opinion, you're playing a dangerous game. Uh, you're essentially gambling. Who knows how long that may take for silver to even reach those levels if it even does. And who knows what's going to happen to your fiat during that time. I mean, every day it's getting devalued. It's losing more and more purchasing power. So again, I'm going to continue to buy silver regardless of spot price. I could care less. I mean, listen, the spot price on silver could go to negative. I'm still going to buy because it's all a big game. Once you understand the direction that this fiat is going and the games that are being played in these precious metal markets, especially in the silver market, there is absolutely no going back. This is all a big game. And again, this is my opinion. I'm not telling you what to do, but this is what I'm doing. And regardless of that spot price, I'm gonna to continue to buy. I know that this dollar can only go on for so long. Lots of old timers on here, nothing against you, okay? But I'm telling you right now, this is a different America than you grew up in. This is not the 50s, this is not the 60s. You need the research. All right, so that's gonna do it for today's video, guys. You let me know below. And as always, if you found the video helpful, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing to this YouTube channel so you get more videos on both gold and silver. And as always, God bless.